Morning chaps. So we're back from a run out to tool station this morning and we picked up quite a lot of gear for working in the beer garden and uh, with all the timber and other things, got some PPE equipment, some new gauntlets for caustics and what have you, while we're handling chemicals in here and some other jazz. So I'll uh, just move the camera over, I'll show you what we picked up. And I can also fill you in on uh, a little teaser that I gave you the other day. I never actually followed through with it. So uh, I was contacted by none other than Evolution Power Tools, who are based in Doncaster. Uh, I use one of their saws, you see, in the workshop. And uh, most of the work that I've done in this building has been, uh, well, most of the timber has been cut on that saw at some stage or another. So they got in touch with me and asked if I'd do a paid review for one of their uh, chop saws. To which I said, yes, by paid review, they've sent me the saw for free. I haven't had any money. Um, so here is the saw. It's the Evolution Rage 4. Maybe you can see that. And uh, I'm gonna put it through its paces. Not on this video though, on another one. So what I intend to do is make a security gate for the side of the building through there. So in order to do that, we required some other bits of hardware. So on the run across to Tool Station today, we picked up a clipper set so we can set to work on the triffids growing in the beer garden. I also got the required health and safety at law poster. You know the drill. 20 quid the charge for these. It's a freaking rip off. And uh, got some more 70s to finish the tables off because I used them all. And I also got a padlock for said gate. This one with a combination on so everyone can get in without requiring the keys. And then these are the bits of hardware that I've ordered. So these are, they're weld on um, hinges basically for the gate. So we kind of just weld this on to a plate for the wall and then on the gate itself you have a combined little hingey poo and uh, that there is what gives you your, your gate if you like. So we're going to make it out of one inch box section, I've got loads of that spare and we're going to make it completely intruder proof. So the only way to get into my beer garden is through my pub or to swim across the canal. And in this weather, I don't think many people are going to want to do that. So uh, that is that. These are the gloves that I picked up. Chemical resistant and perfect for handling things such as acids and caustics. These are the, uh, there was a code on it. Yeah, these are the uh, Ansel Edmont uh, 37675s. So let's just try them on for size. I think this is the size 9, which says large on the site. And they're just about right. They're just about right. There's a bit more dexterity with these in comparison to the PVC gloves which whilst they're lined, they are uh, very difficult to maneuver in. And then thirdly, fourthly, fifthly, dust masks. And when we go on these auction websites and buy stuff from liquidators, high-vis vests, so we can get on site. I also got a big badass Haspen staple for the gate. You know, a proper one none of your little baby things so what we'll do is we'll actually weld this to the gate we won't uh, we won't be bolting it on we'll be welding it on so there ain't nobody gonna get in there ain't that the truth right so that's the stuff i've picked up today uh, i need to get 
some of this beer out of tanks so I'm now going to set up the cask washer and we're going to set about casking the vacant gesture or well, hopefully I can get Gemma to do that because she's with me today right we've got Gem cleaning the cask washer out now so she can start with the uh, casking I think of the vacant gesture first and then the bitter and we'll do the coconut shy last because if anything's going to clog up the takeoff hose, it's going to be the coconut shy. And then, of course, there's one more thing that we picked up from Tool Station, which I forgot to tell you about, and that is the Spear and Jackson razor sharp tree pruners with saw telescopic. Hey, I can hear the excitement now out on YouTube. Everybody's completely buzzing about this, yeah, Actually, I'm probably over excited. So this is to take care of that birch, silver birch in the back of the beer garden. We don't want to get rid of it completely because it's a lovely tree. But, oh piss off, we do want to get rid of some of the lower hanging branches. Check out the blade. Check out Gemma's butt in the background as well. I think the camera's focusing on the wrong thing here. You know, hey, let's keep it friendly. Let's keep it friendly, buddy. Right. So obviously this requires some assembly. I believe. Anyway, I'll figure this out and then uh, we'll cut. I'll figure this out and then we'll cut to the beer garden and do some pruning. <laughs> going to take some getting used to because it's a weeping tree I can't quite get I haven't got the reach to get to the branches and of course all the twiggy things that are hanging down are hanging down and my clippers need to cut branches going out sideways so this ain't as easy as it looks you know might have to think of a different approach we're well, right in here abs you look pretty comfortable with chancy pants Bless him. Yeah. As you can see, I've exposed a lot of it. Got rid of a lot of that ivy. But it's still obstructing the view, don't you think? Just about across there. So I'm going to go over with some big loppers and a saw. And this isn't completely without risk. I am over the water when doing this. So I could easily end up in the drink. Hopefully, that won't happen. But should it? I'll ensure the camera's rolling to capture every second. Wish me luck. Unfortunately, I did find evidence of uh, pike fishing. Check out the little swimmers. Hey, rusty old treble. Ah. Now that's a pile of uh, triffid, if I've ever freaking seen one. So what I managed to do is get uh, this fence or balustrade or whatever it's called out and then start to attack the actual canal side itself properly so most of that 
is just weeds and then soil down to the edge so I need to figure out what to do with this bit I'm going to clear it first of course I think we did quite well outside we've cleared the uh, side of the canal thinking about getting some scaffolding poles and hammering them like with a sledgehammer into the bottom of the canal and then strapping some scaff boards to it to make like a little jetty I think it might work uh, but it's just starting to drizzle with rain now so I brought the camera in out of the way and we'll see how we get on with the weather if it does start to rain then yeah I'll be calling it a day outside I need to chop all that triffid up so Stuart can get it on the van and get a shot of it um, and then finish off the casking that Gemma doesn't get done before she has to pick it on makeup sounds like a plan right it's part of one. Can't get out. come in here uh, to take over from Gemma while she's gone to pick the kids up in fact the kids are running around right behind the camera here Abby yeah. make sure you flush that toilet okay. cheeky monkey um, I was going to cask everything and I had a brainwave the coconut shy which is a new version with the tannum hops in there has never been on keg in the pub before so I'm filling four of the 30 litre kegs with this beer as well as uh, 12 minus 3 9 casks as soon as that's finished I'm keeping an eye on the fill level I don't want to overshoot it as soon as that's finished we're gonna shoot back home edit the vlog get some tea and of course Gemma's gonna be driving because I'm sampling the best bitter Harrison's best and uh, over here, I also have a little sampley poo of the coconut. Whee! Told you. Every time, buddy. Every time. So, I overflowed the keg. You're distracting me, man. What do you expect? So yeah, uh, I'm going to taste the coconut after I finish that sample of the bitter because I want to not confuse the two flavours, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
just like that we are done. Lights are off, we're ready to go home. The casks are charging, kegs, charging with CO2. The casks are put to one side and uh, well, I stayed later than I wanted to because as you can see it's already dark outside now. So uh, we're going to jump in the car, go home, edit the vlog, see you tomorrow. Same old, same old. See you then. Oh, 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 oh,